Hi, I'm Paul Worthington with PMA TV. We're here at the Fuji Film booth talking to Darren Pepley. The Fuji Film EXR camera just won the DEMA Innovation Awards. It's the first pocketable camera that has really great dynamic range and some other features that Darren's going to tell us about. Darren, what's the sexiest part of this camera? Well, it's really the automation of uh, our EXR technology. You know, in the past we had the SR and the HR technologies, and they kind of one did res high resolution, one did dynamic range, and it was always hard to marry the two. Right. right. So. What we've done now is married that plus high resolution. In fact, we've got dynamic range, high resolution over here, and uh, signal to noise, which is really ISO. So those three technologies are now combined in the camera, and the trick was to get the consumers to be able to use all three technologies without really having to think about it. And so what we've done is we've automated it. We've combined our auto scene recognition technology mm -hmm. with our XR technology so that when the scene recognition te technology kicks in and discovers what what the scene should be photographed like, then the, uh, the X EXR technology decides how, what, right. what resolution or dynamic range, all that kind of stuff, to be added to the image. And so there's really no thinking left to have to do with the, ca with the camera. I know it's a key thing about this is like you know, there's a couple of other companies that have auto scene modes where they'll do a lot of that selection for you so you don't have to be smart because your camera can be smart for you. Right. But the difference here is like you've got a broader range to bring to that party. Once the, once the camera identifies how to best take a shot, it can also really boost the dynamic range or really boost the sensitivity to give a much better picture than even other cameras that might be able to make that automatic selection. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And, and one of the things, for example, is even uh, macro mode. Mm -hmm. you know, you've, got, you've always had to set the camera to macro mode. There's always been that, how do I do it? What am I doing? Mm -hmm. The flash blew out the background, the foreground. Uh, so now the camera actually will switch into a macro mode simply by detecting how close it is to the, to the object and will actually set the flash, intelligence flash, uh, to the proper power so you don't get that blowout effect. And I've tried it several times. I, I can't mess it up. It, it's really, really a very good tech. I'm impressed with it. It's, it's really a great camera. It's a camera he's tried to break and yeah. no, hasn't succeeded yet. Not yet. <laughs> One of the things, you know, uh, photo enthusiasts are going to be really happy with this as a pocket camera. And because it has the dynamic range that they're used to with our S5 Pro, for example, uh, this one will go to 800. The, the S5 only went to 400 in, in terms of mm -hmm. dynamic range. Uh, but one of the things, having it automated, they want kind of sometimes want to go back and do a manual mode. So you can force it into a particular uh, one, one of these three modes you can force it into, as well as uh, film simulation. You can set the film simulation like you did with our Pro cameras. So if you like Velvia, Ostia, all those different uh, film modes, It'll, it'll simulate that effect as well. So even though it's aimed at the the, the the most basic consumer, it's also got a lot of the enthusiast features for both your your current customers, but also the basic people wanting, wanting to move up to something more experimental. Yeah, you know, it takes the uh, need, to, if you want to bring the, uh, the S5 or your SLR out with you, mm -hmm. but maybe you just don't feel like taking it to a party, right? But you want those features, now, now you can do it. You can put this in your pocket. You know, it's very slim, it's uh, lithium ion powered. Uh, it has internal memory as well as memory that you can add to it, SD and XD. Uh, so it, it's really the best of all worlds. We think this is going to be the camera that uh, the high-end photographer is really going to want to have. It's a must-have. And lastly, this camera also takes HD video with the increased sensitivity as well, right? It does take, uh, it, it outputs HD signal. It doesn't record HD video, but uh, it does record the sound and the video with it at a very high rate, and uh, you can output it to your big screen TV. So. But it is so like full screen VGA quality video with higher dynamic range and better sensitivity. That's right. All the benefits that you get with the still photography with the XR will come in, in, in with the uh, video as well. All right. That's great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.